Hey guys, it's me, Kaden. Um, I'm substituting for Alex this week. Um, uh, we switched places since it's Tuesday. It's Topless Tuesday. Sorry if I don't look good enough. I feel really insecure, but whatever. I have huge talons. I went to the river a few weeks ago. Today's, this week's topic is childhood, I believe. Yeah. My childhood was weird. My grandma basically raised me. My mom had to work a lot. So, um, my grandma had to watch me. She basically raised me. My mom didn't really hang out with me too much back in the day. Uh, all I had were my friends and my grandma. Um, my childhood wasn't that great. I mean, it's better than most people's because most people don't really have houses when they're children or have to go into foster care or stuff like that. So I guess I, I'm pretty lucky, but it still isn't perfect. I was always a tomboy. I always climbed trees, played the dad in playing house with my friends, stuff like that. I was an only child, so all I had were my like little dolls, like not dolls, but like you know at McDonald's how you would get like a, those toys, I would play with those. Um, I had like a Pocket Polly and I had like Donald Duck and other things and they would all always play. Those were, those were my friends. I mean I had other friends but still. I remember this one time, my mom actually left. She would like to go out a lot because she sacrificed a lot to take care of me. Dancing was her passion. She loved to dance, like salsa dancing. So whenever I would go to sleep, she would leave and, well, make sure I was asleep first, get ready quietly and leave me there, and I was sort of a puss cake back then, because I didn't, I didn't like to sleep by myself. I had to sleep with her every night. I was so scared. Um, so she would leave me there. Sometimes I would wake up, and she would be getting ready, in the process of getting ready, and she would bribe me with like five dollars and say please let me go out I'll give you five dollars and just stay here I'll be back in a few hours sometimes I couldn't wait that long I was so scared I couldn't go back to sleep I'd watch TV but there was nothing on TV like no cartoons so so I would cry and um, there would be a few times when I didn't know where she was and I'd wake up and she wouldn't be there so I'd call my grandma and have her come get me because I'd be so scared and my grandma got so tired of that that she called the police one time my mom's not the greatest mom in the world but she's my mom so I love her I still don't know if she read the letter yet I hope she did. It's been in their room for a few days. I'm probably gonna text her as soon as I get to school because I have school at 5 today. So I'll text her and ask her if she read the letter and then after I, after school I'm getting picked up from a friend and we're gonna go get our hair did. So hopefully she'll answer. I just really don't want it to be awkward, but I'm tired of waiting. Like, I want to know now if I can start taking tea. I want to know 
I was a really weird kid. Uh, back then, I didn't want to be. I didn't want to like girls. But um, to some of my uncle's girlfriends, I would be like super close to them. And it would be really creepy, I guess, because they thought I was creepy. When I was younger, I used to like um, cling. I cling like nobody's business. If you're beautiful and pretty and perfect, I'll cling to you. I, I lost a lot of friends my freshman year. These seniors are so cool. I have to be best friends with them. I have to text them all the time. So my mind was going crazy and it told me that it was okay to text them all the time. So I literally texted them all the time and they had to tell me to stop because it was, it was getting pretty bad. Um, I would text them and if they wouldn't text me back, I would send the text over and over again until they text me back. Like thinking about it now, I feel gross because I can't believe I did that. But whatever, that's pretty much my childhood. I was a weird kid. Oh well. That's it for this video. I will see you guys not the coming up Sunday, but next Sunday. And I won't be topless then because it's not going to be on a Tuesday. So if you want to see me topless, you have to send a request. I will see you guys later. Bye. What is this? Why does it look... Why does it look like I have a necklace? I don't know. That's my shadow. That's pretty cool.